The African nation of Sudan is taking steps toward becoming a democracy after ousting dictator Omar al-Bashir in 2019. Now, for the first time, a film from Sudan has been submitted for consideration to the Academy Awards. Foreign correspondent Maggie Ruli has that story. More than just a movie, Amjad Abdullah's first film is a revolution. Because not just like untold stories, it's unseen faces. I mean, Sudan, it's in the heart of Africa. It's that link between Arab culture and the African culture. After nearly 30 years of dictatorship that suppressed creativity, closed cinemas, and censored media in Sudan, Umjad's film, You Will Die at 20, is the first time the country has ever submitted a movie to the Oscars for nomination. It's very hard to, 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 to be in love with cinema and then you notice like your country doesn't make cinema. <laughs> His directorial debut is being praised by critics for its sweeping cinematography and ravishing compositions. The film follows the life of Muzamil, played by first-time actor Mustafa Shihara. Did you ever think something like this would happen to you? There is no professional academy teaching cinemas and actors, you know. So I didn't imagine the film will go in at this line. Dad. After a holy prophet tells his family that their son will only live for two decades, Musamil spends the last year of his life finding out what it really means to live, turning to cinema to open up his eyes, and fighting to free himself from the prophecy. Amjad says as he filmed Musamil's struggle, he was also living Sudan's fight for freedom. The day they started filming in December of 2018 was the very same day the revolution began in Sudan. As the streets filled with violence and uprising, Mustafa says he wasn't sure if he could go on filming. I'm just saying, guys, this is also a revolution. What we are doing, what we are making now, it is a revolution also. The goal would have seemed impossible to most. Three of the film crew were arrested, and Amjad says he lost friends during the revolution. He had to ship four tons of equipment into the country, only to have it held up at the airport. And since no film had been made there in decades, everything was starting from scratch. It was just challenge after challenge for years to get this film made. What? kept driving you to get it done? What made you show up every day and want to keep working against these challenges? The dream and the insisting on the dream. You know, I just, I can't, I can't give up. A fable with the heart of a revolution. The film has become a critical darling at film festivals around the world, including winning the Lion of the Future Award at the Venice Film Festival. That was like a moment that I will never forget. And Amjad says while his film may be the first, it won't be the last. Sudanese film is only just getting started. You still have a lot of untold of st stories. No one told it before. So, I mean, it's a sea of stories. And Maggie really joins me now for more on this. Maggie, what a fascinating story. Uh, you know, you say that art and culture have basically been non-existent in Sudan for a long time, at least to express it in this way. So what's the reaction been there to this film? Yeah, Dan, it's so fascinating speaking with the director and the lead actor. You know, they both said they remember a time not that long ago, just a couple years, like we heard them say, where uh, movie theaters weren't open. You couldn't go out into the street with a camera. You know, Mustafa, the lead actor, said he used to be fearful. If you went out in the street, your camera was going to be taken. It, it was illegal. You could not do this. And now to have that freedom to be out in the street making a feature film, you know, it's the dream that they all have been chasing. And, and what's great is that the country is really rallying around them. Uh, you know, Amjad, the, the, the director of the film, he calls the generation before him the filmless directors, these men and women who weren't able to put their films on the screen. He says they have been supporting him, supporting the next generation of filmmakers. The government, the new government in Sudan is coming around to them as well. And they've even created an entirely new position in the government, in the Ministry of Culture, to help support getting this film into the, act, uh, into the Oscars. So it's really incredible. You know, for so many people, Sudan is a country that's trying to figure out a new constitution, trying 
trying uh, to work on being this new democracy. And for them, culture and film and cinema is a way to do that as well. So as we heard Mustafa, the actor, say, you know, this film is also part of the revolution. Yeah, it seems to represent so much. Mm -hmm. So what's next for the director and not just this team, but what's next for future films in the country? Yeah, I think it's so great. You know, when we heard him say, this is just the future. So many stories still untold of, of a vibrant culture that many people don't get to see on film. And the good news is that, you know, Mustafa told us there's another film that is in the works right now in Sudan, that they're working on another film. So uh, they are trying to create this, this new culture of filmmaking in the country. So much to look forward to. And, and uh, if everyone's interested in the States where you can see this film, uh, You Will Die at 20, the, 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 the film that we were just watching, it is available to stream and online cinemas right now. You know, we're not even mentioning this film's trying to be promoted during a pandemic. So again, another challenge that they're up against, but they're finding out a way to stream it online so you can watch it there. And uh, tomorrow is the first round of official nominations for them to get one step closer to being officially nominated for the Oscars. Uh, so again, their story is still ongoing, but I mean, I have to tell you, it was so moving to speak with them. And I, I am just a huge fan now. I'm rooting for this film to succeed. So I'd love for everyone to go watch it. and create some good buzz around it, get some Oscar buzz yeah. going for this amazing film crew. You're beaming, just talk about it. And Maggie, we know <laughs> if anyone's good at raising excitement about anything, it is you. <laughs> Maggie Ruley, thanks so much for bringing us this story. What a great one. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.